So, a what ho, ladies and gentlemen, violets. Now, as we know, um, the harder the wood, the creamier the output, and I've got something nice and purple and shiny for your delight and delectation this very evening, and here it is! What a cute guitar. Now, as you will probably very likely know, this is a, a daisy rock. And what does it say there? It says, guitars for girls, or something along those lines. Well, do you know what? These are really, really, really well made. They're very, very well built. They're made of proper stuff. This pickup, I've no, it's got a, it's, <laughs> there's no nonsense with this thing. It's got a single humbuck. It's got a single volume control. And, well, I think that the uh, proof of the pudding, generally speaking, will be in the eating. So, uh, or the proof of the uh, instrument will be in the playing. So let's have a little listen. Nothing special, just a little bit of a, you know, bit of a jam. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so hopefully that stops. Have you stopped? Yes, you stopped. Jolly good. So, well, they're dinky. They're dinky. They're lovely. And I know it says guitars for girls, and maybe that's true because they are tiny. What I also notice is that uh, less uh, bending is required to uh, move the note to a tone or two. And uh, it plays well, they're built really, really well, and they sound great. But they don't just do that soft stuff, you know. I'm going to turn the loud pedal on. Uh, so, that work. Oh, well, that'll do. Uh, so, yeah. Or whatever it was he used to do. You remember that? Tiger Feet ish uh, by uh, the old. Oh. It has got a brand new set of fender strings on, so please excuse me for the, because uh, we've been bending and whittling, so it'll be slightly uh, out of... Um... Your guts and uh, <laughs> single volume knob that's all I ever want on a guitar or really an on off switch would do it for me just fine it looks a little bit like a Gibson here yeah, let's um, we'll take this out and let's let you have a good look round this thing hang on So, uh, these little critters, uh, they, could, they don't appear very often, but I'll tell you what, I would gig with this. I will gig with this all night long. You know, obviously you set your amp and sounds up how you set them up. And so, uh, you know, if anybody's uh, in the need for a, um, an age-related uh, guitarist for a tribute to 60s, Glam rock band, I've got my own hair and teeth, so uh, you know, give me a call. <clears throat> but uh, back to the guitar. These little things are absolutely serious. They are serious little guitars. This is beautifully set up, it has no fretware, well, you know, virtually no fretware. The frets are all nice and shiny. It's got a brand new set of um, Fender uh, branded strings on. The tuning pegs. Um, oh, I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees again. Uh, the tuning pegs are quality sealed items. You know, I, these. there's no indication of uh, the location or which nation it was, uh, or station for that matter, that it was made at. But uh, I can tell you that. I've got to, I've got to guess they're Chinese. I mean, I know that... Um, 
uh, Daisy Rock, uh, the company itself, is a Californian uh, company. However, I would rather suspect that this is made in China. This particular item has had a couple of nibbles out of it here and there, which have been sympathetically uh, touched in. And so, not so as they're invisible, but so as that uh, one's eye is not drawn to them. But they're great for little hands. They are fabulous for little hands. They're a little short scale thing. How many frets have we got? So we've got to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. It's got to play, you know, it's got 22 frets. And I can also tell you that I've had the old um, How Straight Is Your Neck uh, implement on it tonight. And it's not a Gibson or a Fender scale. So these are absolutely unique and specific to these guitars. But um, have a look at them. That'll tell you whether the neck's straight or not. And that looks pretty damn straight to me. So there's no, they are well built. You know, you so many straps and squires and what have you. They get that uh, cracking around the neck pocket. This thing hasn't got a damn mark on it. It's, and it's a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's glittery purple. And it's also got my bloody fingerprints all over it, soz. But uh, you know, Bit of a yellow duster, soon be, uh, soon be nice and shiny again. So, uh, can I love those heart inlays? I've no idea what they're made of. Uh, yeah, probably um, acrylic, that's the word, probably uh, acrylic, I suppose. Uh, so, yes, they are beautiful and they are playable and they are Without a doubt, they are giggable, but most of all, how cool is that? That looks could that looks cool, and it's in the shape of a heart. Beautiful. Get on board. They're great. If you're, uh, I don't know, if you're in a, a glam rock tribute band, ideal. Uh, or uh, or if you if you just like heart shaped things and you've got tiny hands, and uh, as I said earlier, <coughs> the um, the strings do not need a great deal of bendage to uh, move yourself a tone or half a tone or ooh, however bendy you want to be, and uh, yeah, they're great, really, really well made. They've got that nice uh, Kramer style uh, string retainer there which I love, that is a nice feature. But yeah, they're, well, they're well built, they're well built, and they're not toys, they're not nonsense. These are proper, serious guitars. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful to you. So uh, if you find one, if you can find one, uh, get it bought. They're great, they look cool, they sound fabulous. Easy to play too. Uh, so, Thank you so much for watching, and adios amigos, uh, Roxy signing out. Ta-ra!